Hi learners, it's Miss Ornellis. We're here to do our second read of our story of the week, Little Panda. As always, please remember to focus your attention, concentrate, use your eyes, ears, and brain, and ignore distractions. The amazing words in our story this week are weigh, explore, measure, healthy, curious, bamboo. You'll see the amazing words pop up at the bottom of our screen. Let's begin. Little Panda by Joanne Ryder. The world welcomes Hua May at the San Diego Zoo. A baby panda curls within a tender paw, held close to her mama's beating heart. For the first weeks of her life, this tiny baby, circled above photo, was viewed only with a camera in the panda den at the world famous San Diego Zoo. Even when scientists couldn't see the baby, who was born on August 21st, 1999, they could hear her. Baby pandas can call very loudly if they are uncomfortable, frightened, or hungry. Pink and pale, sprinkled with white fuzz, a tiny cub is just a promise of a bear to be. All right, readers, this is the mother panda. Tell me what she looks like. She is black and white. Where is the baby panda? Can you see her? Hua May is in the little circle at the top of your screen. And then in the next picture, you can see Hua May in the mom panda's paw. Panda cubs are born smaller and more vulnerable than brown or polar bear cubs. At birth, a baby panda is more than 800 times smaller than her mother. The baby is cared for by her mother alone. Panda fathers do not help raise cubs. But soon, patches of dark skin reveal the giant panda hidden within. Readers, how is the little panda beginning to look like her mother? All right, she's getting the white and black fur like her mother. Readers, who takes care of the baby panda? That's right, the mama panda does. Unable to walk, unable to see yet, a fragile baby gets a checkup. Gentle people examine her, weigh her, and measure her, making sure she is healthy. As she grows, they learn more about her and about all pandas. What are the people doing? They are using a ruler to measure the baby panda. Why do you think they measure Hua May, the baby panda? Yes. Does the doctor measure you when you go in for your checkups? Me too. Let's continue. A baby panda is learning too. At first, she can't hold up her head. Then, look at her. She is sitting and standing now, eager to take her first steps. Readers, what new things can the little panda do? Yes, she is sitting and standing now. What else does she want to learn to do? One hundred days after her birth, a little panda receives her Chinese name, Hua Mei, pronounced Hua Mei. This baby connects China a land where pandas roam misty mountains to the United States, the land of her birth. Hua Mei means China, USA. Chinese names can have more than one meaning. Hua Mei also means splendid beauty. Slowly, shyly, Hua Mei steps into a new place, ready to meet and greet the world. 
Readers, what happens when the little panda turns 100 days old? Yes, she gets her Chinese name. Do you remember her name? Hua Mei. That's right. Let's say it together. Hua Mei. Full of wonders, her new home tempts a curious panda to explore the soft grass, the tall trees. Readers, what does the curious little panda want to explore? Yes, she does want to explore the grass and trees outside. What else do you think she will do or explore? Great ideas. Let's continue. There she goes, climbing with wobbly legs, up and up and up and up. Pandas are natural climbers. They use their stronger front legs to pull themselves as they climb. Whoops, she flips upside down. Whee, she sits right side up. What is the little panda doing here? Yes, she is learning to climb a tree. What causes the little panda to flip upside down? Right, she's learning to climb, so maybe she's not that good at it yet. So she flips upside down. A little panda finds treasures everywhere. Just the right size, a stick becomes a toy. Hua may bites, taste, and juggles in her paws. What does the little panda play with here? Yes, a stick. Which toy do you think the panda likes the best? It could be that sticks are her favorite. A tiny acrobat scrambles in her very own playground. Hua may pulls and climbs, testing the branches, testing her own strength. What does Hua Mei have in her playground? Mm -hmm. Bamboo, trees. How is her playground different from your playground? Do you have bamboo treats to chew on in your playground? No. Does your playground have swings? Mm -hmm. Does Hua Mei's playground have swings? No, she does not. Let's continue. Hua Mei wanders, drawn to the sparkling pool, patting in the water, dipping in. A young panda makes her own discoveries while her mama, Bai Yun, pronounced Bai Yun, feasts on bamboo. Uh, readers, what is in the pool? Right, water. It's cool water. Why do you think the little panda likes the cool water? Right, maybe it helps her to feel refreshed. She likes playing with it. Do you like playing with water? How about splashing in a pool? Yeah, Huame likes it too. Bai Yun grasps bamboo with her nimble paws. With her strong teeth, she crushes stems, <laughs> ripping and stripping slender leaves. Pandas are known as bamboo bears because they eat up to 40 pounds of bamboo a day. Their diet changes with the seasons. Sometimes they eat only the leaves, and other times they chew on just the thick woody stems. Interesting. Soon, Hua Mei will have all her teeth. Then, she will be a bamboo bear like her mama, big enough to eat the tall, tall grass. But for now, when she's hungry, Hua Mei cuddles close to her mama, sipping warm, rich milk. Oh, what is Bai Yun eating? The mama, what is she eating? Right, she is eating bamboo with her strong teeth. 
Readers, why are pandas called bamboo bears? If you said it's because they like eating bamboo, give your brain a kiss. Good listening ears. Let's continue. Hua Mei looks up a leafy tower. Wishing herself high, she starts to climb. Little pandas have sharp claws to help them climb trees. A mother panda doesn't worry when her baby climbs up high. Pandas are safer in the branches of a tree than on the ground where they can be hurt by other animals. Did you know that? She peeks through branches at the world below and her mama never very far away. What is the little panda doing now? She is climbing the tree. What do you think? she's thinking maybe about her adventure maybe about how high she can climb maybe i wonder where my mama is who may tags her mama catch me if you can and runs away she knows she must be gentle when she plays with little Hua Mei, who weighs only about 20 pounds in these photos. Chirping softly, she feels her mama's big arms scooping her up, wrapping around her, catching her with a hug. Playful pandas roll and tumble, making up a game all their own. Readers, what game do Hua Mei and her mother like to play? Yes, they do like to play tag together. They also like to roll and tumble. What games do you play with your family? One year old. Who may is a promise come true. A lively, healthy, giant panda. May she and all pandas live long, be well, be safe on our good earth. Readers, we've come to the end of our story, The Little Panda. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for being here with me today. Remember, stay healthy, helpful, and calm. See you next time.